Hey guys, uh, just before the game starts, on, feel free to uh, follow myself and Nexus Esports on uh, Twitter or Facebook. It's all up to you guys. Um, we will be uh, holding a few giveaways from time to time, be it Razor goodies or game giveaways. So, you know, feel free to, uh, to like or follow our pages. We would be very, very grateful. Um, with regards to microphone issues, I'm aware that my microphone, for whatever reason, only gives an output from one ear, you know, not sure whether it's the right or left ear, but it's one of them, so apologies for that, so I, am, uh, I do have actually a new headset coming in post, so hopefully once I receive that new headset, everything will be uh, nice and dandy. Anyways, welcome. This is a Russian stream. Big Rip versus Fanatic. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. Right, we do have five players now. Um, oh, right, Ubik. I was just gonna say, I've got no idea who that fifth um, Big Rip player is. Latrusha has been kicked, along with Flusher. Rhyming names Latrusha and Flusher. Of course, for those of you who have just tuned in, Fnatic, well, they were 12-3 up a few minutes ago on Inferno against, who was it, against the Copenhagen Wolves, and they blew it away and lost 16-14. I'm not quite sure <laughs> how they managed to do that, but, you know, that last round was uh, was an was a interesting round, to say the least, where the terrorists planted the bomb, the CT started defusing it, and the T. Well, I don't think he heard the diffuse starting. So, uh, for those of you guys who didn't manage to catch that game, I uh, recommend you, you uh, head over to my YouTube channel, which, um, actually, I don't have it listed anywhere, but just go onto YouTube and type Ky Anexis Kyanite, and uh, you'll find my YouTube channel. And I will be uploading the VOD for that very soon. But anyways, it looks like we are going to go live here on DE Mirage, also known as DCPL Strike for Counter-Strike Source players. Uh, that's definitely how I used to know it back during my Source days, so uh, please don't give me any hate for the fact that I was a previous Source player. That's just the game I used to play. I did play 1.6 for a while, but anyways, that's irrelevant, and we are going to have the uh, pistol round. Not the pistol round, the knife round. Come on, Kaya, that's not a pistol. That's uh, quite blatantly a knife, but anyways, we have a walk. We'll get the first knife. And, ooh, I'll tell you what, Devil Walk, I think he's from Liverpool with them knife skills. Uh, he's unique, unique, unique. He's uh, the last B Grip player alive. Obviously, B Grip, they are a Russian side. They lost 16 1 to uh, the Copenhagen Wolves, who just beat Fnatic. So, do the math and figure it out yourselves. But anyways, Fnatic, after winning the uh, knife round, opted to stay. With regards to Mirage overall, it's quite 50-50. I would say it's maybe 55-45, maybe slightly T-sided, I don't know. Others say it's CT-sided, so you know, I don't think anyone really, uh, well, anyone in the CSGO community is going to agree on whether it's T or CT-sided. But anyways, then we have the pistol round, B grip, or well, the bomb has made his way towards the A bomb site. Moody and Flush are getting on the score sheet. Not quite sure where this is happening actually. They, oh, there it is. They pushed mid. So uh, mistakes from the T's and Fnatic already stamping their authority on the game. So uh, Flush jumps on those boxes, taken down by that new cannon of Kibagan. And Banda as well getting on the score sheet. Banda gets his second. Well, Fnatic had a three man, a two man advantage, sorry, and they've blown it. And the bomb is down. Schneider is making his way towards that A bomb site now. Along with his teammate, is he going to get taken down with that noob cannon Glock? He is. Ubik takes Schneider down, and it's all up to this man here, Moody. He already has one kill so far this round. He definitely knows where, where Ubik is. He's going to flash, and he's going to push. Banda couldn't take him down. And uh, it says 1 0 to Fnatic, but it's a CSGO bug. It should be 1 0 to B Grip. So, oh dear, I'm gonna. That's, oh. I always mix up bomb sites, and so now I'm gonna mix up which team's in the lead. But, anyways, we're all human guys, aren't we? <laughs> anyways, 1 0 to B Grip. And, of course, the way the economical system works in Counter Strike, you win a round, you get more money. And which means, for the first three rounds, 
you have big guns and your opposition most certainly don't have big guns so Fnatic obviously having to deal with their crappy USPs or P228s so or whatever it's called on this game apologies you know here's my Counter Strike source and lack of global offensive knowledge kicking in but I am trying to improve it so you know uh, apologies for it <laughs> but anyways C is making his way now into that small attic area right above the mid window sees that no CTs are there Flusher and Schneider both holding the B bomb site. Actually, hang on a second. The CTs have four players on that B bomb site, so. Well, they obviously seem to know something I don't. Ubik looks like he's going to push straight into that B bomb site now with that Galil. Kibakan gets first blood onto JW. Is he going to get taken down? Schneider does get taken down and he will pick up that Galil now. Kibakan gets two. Latrusha gets two. And uh, 2 0 to the Russians. So, good counter-strike at the moment from the Russians. Fnatic, well, Fnatic are gobsmacked from what happened to him in their previous game a few minutes ago against the Copenhagen Wolves. It's, I think it's safe to say that Denmark got one over Sweden. I don't think anyone was expecting Fnatic to lose you know, in the first place. But hang on a second. One of the B-Grip players just threw the bomb and left the bomb at T-Sport. But they have gone back to pick it up. So, so far so good for both sides. Nobody's been hurt. Everyone's still alive, and uh, if it was up to me, I'd uh, have it stay that way. I don't want anyone dying. But anyways, this is Counter-Strike, so we are going to have people shot at left, right, and center and killed. And uh, that is exactly what the game is about. C is trying to push short there. He gets dinked. He's only on 34 HP now. Unfortunately for him, he is still alive and lives to fight another day. Latrusha, where's Latrusha? Where are you? Come on. He is at mid and takes down JW, and it looks like we are going to see a push onto the A bomb site now from all different angles. One from Jungle, one from Connector. Latrusha is going to push out with that. Galil takes down one, but Schneider answers back. Three versus three now. Fnatic, obviously, B Grip, sorry, do have the weapon advantage. Actually, well, maybe not actually, because Schneider and Moddy both picked a Galil and AK up each. So, it, you know, 50 50. Be a massive round for Fnatic if they were to go on and win this game. The bomb is outside B and is going to make his way towards Apps. Moody is walking towards his kitchen and is going to run right into Ubik's trap. Is he going to die? He is now. And uh, two versus three. Good kill by Ubik. Picked up that AK that the CT had. Seized onto Schneider. And uh, Flusher all by himself with that little pistol of his. Poor him. He's going to shoot. And he's going to die. Thanks to Seeds AK. So 3 0 to B Grip. Well, I think it'd be safe to say B Grip were to go and win this game. Well, I believe it would be another upset as far as Fnatic are concerned. And we've seen a lot of CSGO teams really get sacked from their organizations um, in recent times. Fnatic probably aren't that kind of organization. They would sack their teams. But, well, I don't know. We're just going to have to see what happens. Hopefully, they can pull it back. Uh, there's a lot of time to, a lot of time left, and it is Count Strike. Well, we've said it before; anything can happen, and we saw it before from the Copenhagen Games Fnatic game. Again, if any of you guys haven't seen that game, the VOD will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Just search for Nexus Kynap. Anyway, let's start concentrating on the game now. Three B Grip players at mid, Ubik being one of them with that AK-47, a Russian team with a Russian gun. As, uh, as far as they're concerned, they've used their Russian guns very well so far. Kibakin gets first blood onto Flusher, and the T's will start to make their way now towards mid. Ubik Holt going into that B bomb site. Devil Walk takes down Banda, and Kibakin spots a CT, will drop him. Shot him right where it hurts the most. That's right, in his testicles. So four versus three, and Latrusha gets taken down by Moody as he pushed up mid. Camera work is dire at the moment, so I'd like to apologize. Moody spots Ubik on short and will take him down. And Seized is the last man standing. He does have the bomb and he's going towards B. So uh, we do know that two CTs are near this B bomb site. Moody more closer to the A bomb site. So let's just see what's going to happen. He's more or less made his way onto the bomb site. They will have heard him now without a doubt. And they will definitely hear him now. Seeing the bomb going down. And Fnatic just in the nick of time. Pushed out and took him out. They didn't let the bomb go down. <clears throat> Which, of course, would have given Big Grip um, a fair bit of money. But despite losing... Actually, no, they didn't lose that round. They won that round. Again, 
that scoreboard at the top is wrong. <laughs> so it is confusing me. So I'd like to apologise about that. So B Grip, of course, winning that round. They are now on Orps. You know, it was Fnatic who won that round. Deary me. First mixing up bomb sites, now I'm mixing up teams. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Flusher is going to push off short. Little does he know that Killbacken is very close to him. Now he does. Killbacken took down JW. Can Flusher even things out? Not as it stands. The T's are going to make their way towards that B bomb site. Devil Walk holding below, beneath Balcony. Schneider on that A bomb site. And B grip. Just waiting for another error from Fnatic to perhaps give him another man advantage, which could be exactly what they're looking for. Moody not playing right un in window, so he's holding that angle outside window. Roman Schneider levels the numbers up as he takes down the truth. A lovely shot with his M4. So four versus four, and at the moment anything can happen. Seized really isn't in the ideal position, f being an orper. He's, I'm sure he'd rather have an AK-47 where he is at the moment. He's going to peek through those vents, spots nothing. And so far, well, so slow. But it looks like we are finally going to see a push onto this bigger A bomb site. Schneider takes down one. Ubik is going to push on. Can he take anyone down? He can't. But Kibaken took down Schneider. So three versus three. And down goes the bomb. The CT is going to peek from CT. And down goes Kibaken. They didn't clear the bomb site before they went for the plant. And now seized. He's got a lot of work to do. He's got that up. And he's looking towards CT spawn. He spots a CT. Trying to take his face off. But the time ran out. And uh, we are going to have 3 2 and Fnatic getting another important round on the board. So Seized, I think, is going to be the only terrorist now with a real weapon. He does, of course, have that AWP that he saved from the last round. Unfortunately, the rest of the B-Grip lads, obviously, still have Glocks. Quite simply due to the fact that, well, they lost a round. They can't afford to buy a real weapon. So, we're seeing the uh, regular 2-3-2 two, two split from the CTs. But the CTs, I'll tell you what, they've done something interesting. They've pushed... Quite aggressively into that connect area. Flusher with the first kill onto Kibaken. Let's have a look at where he was. He was on short. Let's go and have a look at someone else. Schneider takes down Banda. And now they've got Latrusha to deal with. And they deal with him brilliantly. He was on the roof. And he's going to fall to his death. So now seized. And Ubik in that upper arch area. Seized will use that AWP safe to take down not only one but two. Great stuff by Seize. Ubik is going to drop down. Use that new pattern of his. It's not good enough. Seize gets his third. Hang on a second. It's three versus two. And Seize could pull something off. But no. Flush had something else up his sleeve. And he was taken down. So 3-3. Three, three as Fnatic rack up their tally to three rounds so far. After being 3-0 down. And it's been a, an even game so far. Which is something you'd expect from two evenly, or well, almost evenly matched sides on a map which is really evenly matched like Mirage. Anyways, it looks like we are going to see a B push now. Flusher takes down Kibaken, but there were one too many terrorists for him to handle. Latrusha and Banta, not Banta, Banda, yeah, making his way up through the Axe area. Banda will take down Moody and the rest of the CTs are rotating now. So three versus three. Banda drops Moody. JW holding that AWP. Trying to catch any T's. Making their way through from short through to mid. And uh, we know Ubik is going to make his way through there. So, don't know if he's going to get killed. Let's have a look at JW. 60 seconds to go. And there are no CTs on the A bomb site. But we do know ourselves that the bomb is on the B bomb site. The question is, <coughs> do the CTs go there? So, JW is going to fire that bullet in Banda's face. And I'll tell you what. Unique. Or well, Ubik is going to walk right into his crosshair. And JW gets his third. Can he make it four? Schneider takes him down. So 4-3 in favour of the Russians. <coughs> of course, just reminding everyone the scoreboard at the top is actually the wrong way round. We do have round number eight. And we do see the terrorists on a deco. Kibaken opting to buy the Deagle. 
which not a lot of players do like on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but he seems to like it. Unfortunately for him, it didn't work good enough for him. Okay, JW took him down, but seized. Landed a lovely headshot onto JW. Took revenge for his teammate. He's going to jump up now. Latrusha takes down Flusher after he took down two terrorists. And now it's all down to this man here. Seized. Talking about down to this man. He is now down on the ground after being dropped by Schneider. So 5-3. I actually know the scoreboard has fixed itself, hasn't it? It is 5-3 to Fnatic. Deary me, when did the scoreboard fix itself? Maybe the admins could do it or something. I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure. There is a scoreboard now is fixed, guys, so it is 5-3 to Fnatic. I can confirm that now. So pay attention to whatever it says at the top and don't listen to the crap I'm rambling. There is JW as we've seen him do a fair bit during his time on this map, open down mid, Flusher gets first blood onto Ubik. So, four versus five, but I'll tell you what, Moody's only on 8 HP, so he might not last very long. He is on this B bomb site, and it looks like the T's are going to try and fake that, because Kibakin is on the A bomb site by himself with the bomb. So, C's will take JW down, Muddy exchanges bullets, and Devil Walk makes his way into jungle, and looks like, well, more or less all the CTs have rotated towards that B-bomb site, bar Schneider. And I've got a second, Schneider's now going to start his rotation. And who's this guy with the bomb? It's Kibak, and he's realised that no one's on the A-bomb site. Wow, what a fake from B-grip. And the bomb is going to go down on the A-bomb site. So Schneider thinks everyone's on the B-bomb site. Oh, hang on a second, hello, hello. No one's on the B-bomb site, the bomb's down. And, well, fair play to B-grip, they just did one uh, to Fnatic. And uh, I'm not quite sure they're... They, they know what hit them after that. So a very solid round from uh, B-Grip. Great tactics. And we do hear the bomb ticking. And without a doubt it will go off any time now. They're going to try and hunt down Schneider. He's underground though with that big green gun. He's He spotted one of the T's. Is he going to peek him back? He saw his foot. Didn't deal enough damage. And... Uh, there we have the full-time whistle for this round. Terrorists win. So 5-4 to Fnatic. Very close game so far. I'm going to go ahead now and predict an 8-7 to Fnatic. Just for the sake of it. But again, Counter-Strike, anything can happen. And uh, it's definitely it definitely hasn't been such a one-sided first half as we had on Inferno between Fnatic and the Copenhagen Wolves. So, Moody. This is interesting, actually, from the CTs. Moody... And Flusher, uh, Flusher's going to join us, so it's going to be a regular 3-2 split. But the T's, however, look like they're going to get ready for a quick push onto the A bomb site. So let's have a look at what the CT's in there are doing. They push in, Schneider takes down one, JW missed the orb shot, Schneider gets a second, finally hits the orb shot, Schneider with three. And it's all down to this man right here, sees now, to uh, try and make something, you guessed it, out of nothing. So he hears one of the CTs, spots him, but he's not good enough to take him down, and Flusher will take out the bin. And 6-4, take out the bin, what am I talking about? But anyways, 6-4 to Fnatic. I'm sure B-Grip won't be too disappointed so far, this map really can go either way. But it looks like we're going to see an all-round mid-push. Actually, Moody's going to push underground, is he? Yeah, here's a mid-push from Flusher. He's going to go back round. Is he going to take kill back and out? No, Schneider's going to take him out, but a kill's a kill, so I'm sure he won't mind. Where are the rest of the terrorists then? Well, they are towards that A bomb site. And they're trying to avoid mid because they know that two CTs have pushed up there, and they took down Killbacken, who is their teammate. So C's trying to get an early pick, and he will get that early pick from with the up at mid. And now we're going to see one of the T's making his way through. Balcony Schneider will take down C's, but Latricia returns a favour. And we have this push now onto this A bomb set. Three on three, make that three on two as Moody dropped Ubik. Band again in on the score sheet along with JW. And Latricia, well, he's a man alone. He's all by himself. It's all down to him. He knows exactly where both CTs are. And he's going to get spammed through the boxes and get taken down. So 7 4 to Fnatic. And uh, that's the thing about the A bomb site. Um, on here, on the Mirage, it's so hard to hold because there's, there are just so many entrances to it. But fair play to Fnatic, they held themselves well. And uh, Begrip are Begri 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 uh, going to have to pay. Because they are now, of course, only on an eco. So it'll be interesting to see how they deal with it. They seem like a normal, they're just spreading out across the map. Get back and 
wants to peek mid. I'm going to fire a few bullets. Sees seems to have picked up a Gallo from somewhere. But still, Flusher and Schneider getting on the score sheet, so four versus two. Devil Walk will land a lovely M4 shot into Bandy's head. And JW is going to need hospital after that shot. So 8-4 to the Swedes. Again, I'm receiving messages with regards to my microphone. I know that my microphone is an issue. It is sort of broken at the moment. Hence why you guys can only hear me from one ear. And I apologise. I do have a new headset coming in the post, so you know, keep calm and land headshots. But anyways, Kilbacken with the first round, kill of the round. Flusher comes big at short with two. Latricia will take him down. Very quick round from both sides. But I'll tell you what, things are hotting up. Things are getting exciting. Three versus three. Schneider only on seven HP. And it's looking good for Big Grip at the moment as they go in search for round number five as far as they're concerned. Latricia and his teammates now going more or less towards Moddy in that B-bomb site. Schneider hiding behind a box. Devil Walk holding A from Jungle. And Moddy is in for the fright of his life if the T's continue to, well, dedicate onto this B-push. So Latricia, Banda and Ubik getting ready to push this B bomb site. I think they've left it a bit too late and I think the CTs have realised. Down they go, they jump down off that balcony area. They're going to go in search of that CT. Moody will take down Latricia. They know he's there. Can Ubik take him out? Yes, he can. The CTs have used that smoke to jump out. Banda takes out Schneider and Banda is looking right at Devil Walk who will take down Ubik. One versus one. Who's going to get the better of who? Both on 100 HP. It could go either way here and this is what we love about Counter-Strike. Clutch rounds like this. 20 seconds to go and the bomb is on Banda. So he's going to plant. He has... Well, doesn't have time whatsoever to really go back and plant on the A-bomb site. The bomb is going to go down now and Devil Walker is going to spam those boxes. And who is going to get this round? Well, Banda's going to make his way around the corner right into Devil Walk's crosshair. And Devil Walk takes out the garbage and it's going to be 9-4 to Fnatic. 9-4 to the Swedes over the Russians. So, uh, good stuff from Fnatic. And fair play to Devil Walk. He held himself against that B grip player. Despite him getting the bomb down, obviously he would have liked it if he couldn't get the bomb down because obviously now B grip are going to get, I think it's $800 each for the bomb going down. But still, the round is more important. JW, Orpin, going rather aggressive at mid, but they've uh, landed a smoke there and he's going to be in trouble. Kibaken gets the first kill of the round onto Flush with a lovely AK shot onto him at short. He's playing rather aggressive. Kibakin gets two, but Devil Walk will shut him up. See, he's getting on the score sheet as well. Looks like we're going to have a B push now. Four versus two. JW and Schneider, the only CTs left alive. JW has spotted the T's. He does have an AWP, and he's going to zoom in and hope that one of the terrorists really runs into his crosshair. He's going to hold that angle, look straight out that green bin. Schneider making his way very quietly through the balcony or apps area. And... Hopefully, he'll spot the T. He does and take him down. But, unfortunately, it was another fake from B-Grip. And they are going to plant on that A-bomb site. And fair play to B-Grip. Their fakes have been superb. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do fakes as well as, well, they have. Anyways, I think we're going to have a pause. No, it was just like. Anyways, JW takes down C's and he's all by himself now as he approaches, approaches this A-bomb site. So obviously JW versus Latricia and Ubik is going to put that smoke down. No, it was a flash down. What was he doing? He's going to start defusing. He's going to take down Latricia. He's going to start defusing as well. But Ubik, wow, he's going to get a lot of money for that. And uh, he knives JW in the back. So typical Russian stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there aren't any Russian viewers. I love you all. Not quite sure how to say hello in Russian. But uh, I think it's Privit. That might be Ukrainian, I don't know. But anyways, 9-5 to the Swedes. And uh, if it does end, well, I think B-Grip will be happy. Well, very happy with 9-6, really. Kibakun's going to get pushed. Fnatic going very aggressive at mid. 
Yeah, they are very aggressive at mid, but the problem with that, they've left no one on the B-bomb site, and fair play to the B-grip caller, he's noticed that. So they are going to push his B-bomb site, Banda takes down Flusher with a gallows shot to the face, Schneider comes from behind to take down Seize, and Latrusha is going to drop down now with the bomb. The bomb's going to go down, try and plant the bomb right in front of the counter, he's not quite sure what he's doing, you need to make sure the bomb site is clear before you go on to plant any bombs. But anyways, 4 versus 3, Latrusha makes it a 4 versus 2, Devil Walk makes his way through Kitchen, gets heavy tagged, but nevertheless takes down Banda. So now it's all down to Moddy and Devil Walk. Moddy walking. I don't think they quite know he is there. He's been spotted now. He's going to get pushed from close. Can he take anyone down? No, he can't. Both CTs fall to their deaths. And it's going to be 9-6 to the Swedes. So a very, very close game so far. And I think we might have a pause. No, we're not. But anyways, taking a look at the scoreboard. Well, that's something we definitely forgot to do. Kibaken uh, on top for B-Grip, 12 kills, 11 deaths. Seized not too far behind with 13 kills, 11 deaths. Banda with 9 kills, 13 deaths. Matrusha with 8 kills, 12 deaths. And Ubik with 7 kills, 11 deaths. Schneider with 18 kills, 9 deaths. Flusher, 13 kills, 10 deaths. Devil Walk, 11 kills, 9 deaths. JW, 10 kills, 11 deaths. And Moody with 6 kills, 10 deaths. Bloody hell. They've got their, a lot of their names are mouthful. But anyways, we are going to have a pistol round. We, uh, on paper, expect Fnatic to win, simply because the Glock, of course, is that noob cannon, the new noob cannon on Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It is very overpowered as opposed to the CT pistol. But it is still 5 on 5. But he's looking to... Uh, the bomb is outside A. So I think they might try and fake a B push here. Seize pushes off short and causes issues. Banda getting on the score sheet as well. And chaos at the moment for Fnatic. B Grip are all over him at mid. And uh, they are going to push into that A bomb site. Kibak and Banda dealing with him. And it's all down to Devil War. He is going to fall to his death. Apologies for the poor camera work there. So 9 7 for Fnatic. And I need the toilet, and I have no co caster, so I can't go to the toilet. <laughs> well, at least I'm being honest. But anyways, 9-7 to Fnatic. As the time ticks. So far it's been a very, very close game. Really nothing between both sides. And we are going to see push now from one of the CTs at mid. Moody is going to deal damage onto him, but it's not enough damage. Kibak and takes him down. It's, well, CTs and Ts all over the place as Banda gets two, Seize gets one, and Ubik gets one with his P90. Whew. Well, quick train or stampede of terrorists running all over the place. Met with a stampede of CTs who had the better guns at the end, so it paid off for them. So 9-8. And as this round looks to be getting closer and closer, Fnatic, well, I think they'll be you know, keeping fingers crossed. The same thing doesn't happen now against these Russians. What happened with them beforehand against the Danes. But anyways, we have had first blood. It was an orb shot from Kibaken. And Schneider got an important Glock kill. Seize will take down Devil Walk. Three versus four, three, oh, three versus three now. But of course, the only Fnatic player with a gun is Schneider. Could pick that up off Kibaken. So, Schneider's going to peek into that A-bomb site. Make a lot of noise. Ubik playing somewhat ninja on short. He doesn't want to show himself t just yet. He's going to peek. He didn't spot that CT. That T, sorry, and he's going to make his way into window room. Did he spot that terrorist? No, he didn't. And so far, very, very slow. Moody and co. making their way into this A bomb site. Of course, they have that one CT in Banda to deal with. Let's see what Banda can do here. Then he spotted one of them. Can he take anyone out? Ubik comes from behind. Banda takes out Schneider. And down goes Mori to, to Seeds M4. So 9-9. Nine, nine. And the Russians, the comeback... Almost is complete. They need one more round. And uh, they will be ready to uh, hopefully take the lead and hold on to it. So this is where you see what both teams are really made of. Both teams on a proper buy. They both have, well, they're both equal as far as guns are concerned. Let's see this flash that, that this smoke, sorry, that flush is going to do. JW did get first blood. Where's that smoke going to land? Well, that's Counter Strike for you. It's all about smokes and flashes, isn't it? I never used to uh, like fancy smokes during my playing days. But anyways, also we're going to have a push now onto this A bomb site. Banda takes down Schneider and upper outs. The Trusha returns a favour. 
And what can Flush do? We do have a bit of a of a, of a laggy uh, a laggy HLTV at the moment, but it's not going to matter. Three versus three. Trusher takes down JW. I'll tell you what, my camera work's been dire. Anyways, Flusher now, along with Moddy. The bomb is down, and they're going to try and hold it. Flusher playing connector. He's going to have two CTs coming his way. Does he know that yet? Probably guessed it. He's dealt a lot of damage to both of them. All he really has to do, Moody with two kills. And now it's all down to Latrusha, who's going to get sprayed down. And Moody goes huge with three kills. So fair play to Moody. Fortunately, I was spectating Flusher, but it's not going to matter. Moody going big, and we were talking about a B-grip comeback, but Fnatic, well, they got that buy round, and they took full advantage of it. So let's have a look at cash. Well, B-grip are very low on cash. If they do lose this next round, because they, surprisingly, did buy, well, a few of them have M4s, so if they do end up losing, then we'll probably see a good two or three more Fnatic rounds on the board. So five versus five. Moody chilling on the rooftops. There's four Fnatic players look to be making their way towards that A bomb site, including the bomb. So uh, a regular 3 2 split. Come back and play in jungle along with Banda and Latrusha in other areas. Devil Walk now making his way towards Apps along with Flusher. JW obviously playing mid by himself with that AWP. He's uh, looking for any CT. Spotted one but couldn't deal any damage onto him. Banda will go down to Devil Walks, AK-47, and Latrusha and Kimback can go in big with two kills apiece. Schneider adding himself onto the scoreboard as well. So three versus three. And now Schneider, JW, Modi against Seize, Kibaken and Ubik. Ubik near CT spawn, looking to rotate from there. Kibaken only on AHP, but, you know, if you're alive, you're alive. He's going to start spamming these boxes now. Deals no damage, unfortunately. And Seize now, the push begins. Seize spots one of the terrorists. Schneider will take out JW. Schneider, we spoke about him earlier, and he's only gone and taken down Seize. So 11-9 to Fnatic. Scoreboard-wise, Seized topping the scoreboard for B-Grip, along with Kibak and Banda. However, Latrusha and Ubik, unfortunately, both on negative KDRs. So not looking very good for them. So for that concern, Schneider, well, playing a bit like Wesley Schneider in his prime at the moment. 23 kills and 13 deaths. Flusher on 15 kills, 14 deaths. But unfortunately, the rest of the Fnatic players, despite being ahead, are on negative KDs. So back to the game. Devil Walk took down Kibaken. And JW took down Banda. JW with another shot. Wow, what a flick shot there from JW. How does he do it? Just when you consider what the low sensitivities that these players play on. But Schneider, he was magnificent against the Copenhagen Wolves with his AK. Fortunately, his team wasn't. And he was magnificent there once again. And there once again. Once again, again, again. As he took out Seized with that AK-47. So very good stuff from Schneider. And we do have 12-9 to Fnatic. And hopefully... Fnatic can now capitalise on this and go on to win. But B Grip, B Grip have actually gone and bought up again. Do they have full armour? They do, surprisingly. Wow. Well, fair play to them. Apologies if the stream does seem slightly laggy. It's not me, it's the actual Go TV itself. So Seize is going to push underground, he's going to make his way up there. Devil Walk takes him out. So now B Grip already find themselves one man down. As the rest of the T's make their way towards that smaller B-bomb site. Who's this CT by himself? It is Ubik. He's going to get pushed left, right and centre now. What can he do about it? Absolutely nothing is exactly what he can do about it. As Flusher drops him down. And off to hell he goes. Latrusha, Banda and Kibaken. Well, Banda and Kibaken now. Latrusha get taken down by Schneider who's been marvellous so far. So two versus five. And I think we're going to see a save round. It'll probably be the smart thing to do from both Banda and Kibaken. But hang on a second. Flusher... Well, he's coming from behind, so uh, what's he going to pull out the bag? Nothing. He's going to make his way towards T-Spawn. But hang on a second. He's making his way quite close to where Banda is. Flush has heard the call. He knows he's somewhere near the roof. We know he's dropped down. He's going to make... Well, two T's are going to make make their way towards Banda. Banda on that site. Spotted. He's, well, he's surrounded. And down he goes. And Killbacken is the only CT left alive. And there goes the bomb. Round 13 for Fnatic, and well, they only need three more rounds to claim victory. So, what are we going to see with regards to the Russians here, as far as a buy is concerned? Well, we saw Kibakin obviously drop a FAMAS there, so one of his teammates is going to pick that up. Not quite sure whether they all have armour. They do actually all have armour, so it's going to be an interesting round, without a doubt. We're seeing the same three, well, it's more of a... 2-3 split now. 
JW open down mid. Devil Walk preparing to go underground by the looks of things. Moddy holding a grenade, which is most likely a smoke or a flash. Most likely a smoke from there. JW are going to fall back now. So the bomb is B sided, and I think we are going to see a B push now from the terrorists. If I can get taken down at mid, Schneider, and here's a push. Flusher with two kills, one onto Banda. So Modi is going to make his way towards the B-bomb site now. He's going to drop right into the CT's trap. The Devil Walk has him in his back pocket. Latrucia, the only CT alive. Let's have a look at what he can pull off. He is on that bomb site, but Devil Walk is going to take him out. And it is 14-9, and for some reason I can hear sirens outside my window. Well, after the amount of kills we've seen on this game, it doesn't surprise me the police are... Are after them, but anyways, not quite sure if you guys can hear the sirens. Probably not. But, <laughs> but anyways, 14-9 to Fnatic. So far, well, Schneider has been on fire both games. I've been really, really impressed with his AK-47 work. I think he's he's a very, very good player from what I've seen so far. Just a shame that some other players in his team haven't been able to live up to the expectation. But anyways, Bandel and Latrusha both getting on the score sheet here with Famas kills. Obviously, they all bought Famas. Some of them not on full armor. Quite simply because, well, it's the last, well, well, it's not the last round, but it's second to last round. If they give away this round, they can only play for the draw, and I'm sure the Russians really want to play for the win. So three versus four, Fnatic find themselves a man down. JW has somehow made his way onto that A-bomb site and will take down Kibakan. He orb shotted him in the foot. He's going to spot another CT, but he's going to get nailed in the head with that M4. And uh, down goes C as well. Good shot by Devil Walk. So two versus two. Fnatic, of course, were a man down. What can Moody do here? He's going to spot Ubik, but Ubik knew exactly where he was. I think he made a bit too much noise. And Devil Walk at the moment has his eyes on that CT, who will most likely appear at CT spawn. He knows that Ubik will most likely come from Connector as well. So he's going to peek there. Does Ubik know that? Well, Ubik isn't peeking at the moment. Now he is. And Ubik will have called that to his teammates. So what's Latrusha going to do? Wow. Ubik, well, Devil Walk is just... Surrounded and the bomb will go down. He doesn't know exactly where to uh, plant it. Ubik's fallen back, so oh, he hasn't planted it. He tried the fake. Oh dear, Latrusha on 21 HP, Ubik on 47 HP. What is going to happen here? Devil Walk finally goes for the plant. He's going to be shot from all sorts of angles. Devil Walk takes down Latrusha. Can he take down Ubik? No, he can't. Ubik will finish him off. And uh, what's he doing? I think he's. I think he's lost the bomb. No, he's looking to pick up that orc first. <laughs> I thought he couldn't find the bomb for a second. And the Russians live to fight another day. As they put round number 10 on the board. Bomb has been defused. Counter terrorists win. So 14 10. Fnatic, of course, needing two more rounds. They. Uh, went into this second half in a winning position but we've already seen them of course throw away a 12-3 winning position um, on Inferno against the Copenhagen Wolves. It looked like the Danes you know, weren't having the game that they wanted to have. It looked like they were down and out but hang on a second Fnatic gone right into this A-bomb site. Devil Walk with two kills. Schneider getting on the scoreboard as well and now Ubik is a lone ranger as he makes his way towards the back of this A-bomb site. We missed a push, but let's see what Ubik can pull out the bag now. He does have an M4 and three of each nade. So he's going to sneak into that bomb site through the smoke. Is he not, or is he going to wait for the smoke to blossom? I think he's going to wait for the smoke to disappear. The bomb's ticking. He's throwing that flash, and I think he's going to attempt a, a ninja defuse. Surely not. He's defusing. Three, two, one. Is he going to get the ninja defuse? And he gets the ninja defuse. Ubik with four terrorists on that bomb site. Ubik managed the ninja defuse. Amazing stuff here. And the Russians are back. The Russians are back in this game. And that's the second. That's the second defuse that Fnatic don't hear. They missed hearing a defuse against uh, the Copenhagen Wolves. And now they've just missed another defuse. Wow. Wow. Welcome to Counter Strike. That is what Counter Strike is about. Ninja defuses and surprises everywhere. And this game now, well, is more than open. The T's are going to make their push onto the B bomb site. Flusher spots C's and will drop him. Now one more CT to deal with. Flusher gets his second of the round. And things are getting hot and spicy now for the Russians. 
Pusher pushes into Kitchen, spots a CT, but Banda gets the better of him. So two versus three in favour of the Swedes. JW open from Apps. He's looking at that window, waiting for Latricia to cross. Misses the orb shot. Three versus two. What can the CTs pull off now? Banda heavily tagged. Schneider deals with Latricia and Schneider as well. One man army. Schneider has been for Fnatic. Rescues, well, almost rescues the game for the Swedes, getting the 15th round on the board. Of course, now B Grip. Well, there are four more rounds left in this game. And B Grip, well, they can only get four more rounds in this game, so we'll end up with 15-15. Well, made that sound a lot more difficult than it really is. Um, so, uh, as soon as Fnatic get one more kill on the board, they will emerge victorious. But, um, B Grim, of course, can't afford any weapons because they lost the last round, so on paper, Fnatic should win. But, we've seen B Grip pull something out of the bag. Are we going to see something else? Probably not, as JW takes down Latrusha. The last round now, Fnatic need to win this one. Flusher takes down a big band that gets on the score sheet, but it's not going to matter. As JW will take down Banda, C is coming in from behind with that P228. Ooh, P228. Talking about the P228. Took down Flusher, but Moody f uh, dealt with C's at the end. Wow, some of these names are uh, one heck of a tongue twister. But that is it, 16-11 to Fnatic, and I'm quite sure they'll be happy with that win, and uh, especially considering what happened to him before. But that is it for this cast, guys. And um, Remember to uh, follow, well, follow this channel, and... Um,